This tutorial on sharing Tableau workbooks is provided by the Office of Data Management and Analytic Services at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Tableau allows you to share an entire workbook with others by generating a unique link. Depending on the workbook, the user may need to be added to a particular access group in order to view. Further information on access restrictions is included in the caption below. If a Tableau workbook contains more than one dashboard, keep in mind that all of them will be shared. Also keep in mind that the dashboard you are on when you generate the link is the one the user will see first. To share the workbook, navigate your mouse to the upper right or bottom right of your screen and make a note that the name of the view is called Original. Select Share, and in the pop-up that appears, you can copy the link or select Email to generate an email containing the link. It's a good idea to try the link before sending it to make sure it displays as intended. Tableau offers customization by allowing you to share dashboards where you have modified the filters. For example, I can share a customized version of this dashboard that is preset to the Division of Education. To modify the filter, click on the dropdown, deselect all options first, make the selection, and then hit apply for the changes to go into effect. Finally, click once outside the filter to hide the selections. Now when we go to the name of the view, you'll notice that it contains an asterisk. This indicates that the dashboard was changed from its original state. Next, we have to save the modified view in order to share it. Click on the view name, give it a name, and hit save. You will notice that the name of the view changed to what you just created. Now when you hit share, and create email, the name of the view will be embedded in the link. Again, it is a good idea to test the link before sharing. Thank you for watching this video on sharing Tableau workbooks. For more training videos, go to our YouTube channel at UWODMAS or visit data.wisc.edu.